Good morning, my friends, and welcome to the video. So today, today we stopped at the new one and only 5 Donuts. So they just opened up a new location at the UTC area. So lucky for me, it's only 15 minutes away because the old location is 30 minutes. So also good news for you guys because it seems like I'll be going there more often. <laughs> so you guys already know we are going to start with the almighty Krona. And yes, I do tend to get the same donuts all the time because I like what I like and the donuts I choose are seriously the best. So, all right, we're gonna start with the Krona. Cheers, my friends. for words <laughs> but this is literally it's got to be the best creation on earth besides pizza but I don't know this actually might be pizza We do have some ojo here. Usually I'll do a protein shake, but I'm actually out of protein. But one meal without protein, it's not really gonna do much. But as you guys know, I really like to stay as consistent as possible with my protein intake on these cheat days. But next up, we have the Plant City. And last video that I had with 5-0, you guys were all asking, where's the Plant City? Where's the Plant City? Well, here we have it. It is back, it is delicious. It is strawberry frosted with whipped cream, fresh cut strawberries, and shortcake crumbles on top. <sighs> Bro, this might even be better than the Krona. I seriously can't decide. They're all just so damn good. But me, I'm such a sucker for strawberry, and especially, especially, especially the strawberry frosting they use. It is so amazing. And also, I do have Micro Factor Pack. So this is an all-in-one complete like daily nutrient pack. So it has antioxidants, it has multivitamin, uh, fruits and veggies, uh, CoQ10 for absorption, essential fatty acids. And seriously, it is very easy to take daily as everything's all in one. And did I mention it has probiotics to help with digestion as well? So yes, I know. Donuts are not the most healthiest thing in the world, but I love them. I enjoy them. So, um, micro factor to the rescue. All right, and next up, we are gonna go for the maple bacon. We got maple frosting, chocolate drizzle, candied bacon. What more could you ask for? It's not called it, but I like to call it, it the breakfast donut. Hmm. That sweet bacony, mapley, chocolatey, yeasted, donuty deliciousness. Damn. Five oh man, the goat. Woo, all right. Last but not least, can you guess what it is? Comment down below if you guys can guess what this next donut I'm about to eat is. I'll give you guys five seconds. Five, or you can pause the video. Five, four, three, two, one. I can almost guarantee you all guessed correctly. <laughs> you guys know what I love. Here we have the Cookie Monster, and it was cool because last video, or well, the last video I had with 5.0, I told you guys to comment below with all the ingredients on top of the Cookie Monster, and pretty much every single one of you guys got it correct. I mean, I may have had this donut once or twice, but you guys know what it is. The Cookie Monster. Cheers. Mm. 
bro. If you guys have not tried this, you are missing out. For real. And I apologize. But you gotta come down here and try this. God damn. Oh, it was actually funny. Yesterday I posted this photo on Instagram and somebody called me a CrossFit monster, but I read it as like Cookie Monster. <laughs> like literally like it said CrossFit monster, but like the first thing I read was like Cookie Monster and I commented back. I was like, bro, I read this as Cookie Monster. <laughs> and he wrote back, he's like, oh, I can't unsee that now. It was super funny, but yeah, the Cookie Monster. <laughs> It makes a mess, but it's so worth it. Ah. Well, all right, my friends, that is the start of the day. Literally the best way to start the day. Oh, well, the best way to start a cheat day. If I could start every day like this, I would, but I don't. <laughs> Only once per week or once every two weeks. But yeah, that was very delicious, very amazing. And it was super cool to check out the new 5.0 location at UTC, but yeah. That is the start, and I will be back with some more food shortly. Have a good one. All right, I will see you guys at home. All right, guys, we are back and we went to Arby's. Now, I had their roast beef sandwich for the first time the other day, and seriously, I was so blown away. Like, I got it when we got back from Ohio, and it was like super late, and there wasn't really many food options, so we ended up getting Arby's, and uh, I was with my buddy Alex and Becca, and seriously, I was so blown away by how good that sandwich was, and I was like, man, I cannot wait to film this for a cheat day so I can show you guys how good it is. So, all right. Actually, let me get my... Little tray here. Get set up. Bro, this sandwich is out of this world. Out of this world. So this is the half pound roast beef sandwich. This thing has so much flavor. It's so delicious. And I did forget I forget what sauce you're supposed to eat with it, but um yeah, I'm 
it doesn't even need sauce it's that good so here we go the half pound arby's roast beef sandwich oh look at that i mean this is like this is a good size sandwich like this is like This is how sandwiches should come. Mmm. Like I said, it's a lot of. Yeah, I told her about the sandwich the other day when I was like, bro, you have to try this. Mmm. Look at the layers. This is hitting the spot. We also got a lemonade. It's like a regular size. I don't know what else to say. It's just amazing. Like, look at this thing, bro. Mm. All right. Wow, that was amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right. I also did get ketchup and some fries, curly fries. Ooh, they have a nice little seasoning on them. Mmm, that's a good fry. Let's try a little ketchup on them. So I'm gonna try this out. So what I'm gonna do is just pour the ketchup in here, like that, and then see if I can eat them like this. So this way you don't get ketchup anywhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I like these fries, I dig them. Uh. All right, and Next up, I do have a buffalo chicken sandwich. Now, you guys know how I love spicy chicken sandwiches, and I've never had this sandwich here. So this is the buffalo spicy chicken sandwich, or just buffalo chicken sandwich from Arby's. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Man. I've been slacking on Arby's, man. This is delicious. So it has a buffalo sauce, but then up here, there's also like blue cheese as well. And a boatload of lettuce. Yeah, this, this is great. Oh yeah. All right. And last but not least, we do have some dessert. So this is like a cherry turnover, I believe. So let's give it a go. See how it is. I don't want to make a mess in my car. Right, here we go. Whoa. Bro, that is delicious. Check it out. So it's kind of like light, airy, 
and flaky but on the bottom we got raspberry and then on top there's like a, a cream cheese drizzle damn Arby's you're definitely getting two thumbs up Well, all right, that is meal number two down. And seriously, wow, Arby's gets a 10 out of 10. That sandwich, and also I can't remember the name of the sauce that um, Alex used, Alex and Becca had like the sauce that they used with that sandwich. I don't know the name, if you guys do know the name, put it down below. But that sandwich by itself is absolutely amazing. And then you put that sauce on it, it just blows it out of this world. I forgot the name of the sauce, again, I apologize. But that sandwich, 10 out of 10 in my book. I really, really enjoyed it. The buffalo chicken, really great sandwich, really tasty. Um, plenty of chicken breast in there. It wasn't like a thin breast with you know a lot of fried batter on it. It was light on the batter. And the fries, really delicious. Had a nice seasoning. And then that cherry turnover, fuego. So, all right, that is meal number two. And it definitely didn't disappoint. That was fire. I sent Laura a picture of the sandwich. Oh my god, that's a lot of meat. Damn. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I got that on here. That's so funny. Because I sent her that photo right there. And that's what she said. Damn, I'm a mood. Look at We are back and it is time for some pizza. Now seriously, pizza, I, I know I said the Corona was better than pizza, but I don't know. I, I have a tough time. It's a, it's a real struggle I'm trying to figure out which is better because they're both so damn amazing. Soul, so damn amazing. I don't know where that came from. All right, here we go. So we did go to a place called Gianni's and this is New York style pizza. I did get double cheese, double pepperoni. All right guys, here we go. Seriously, I wish that I could eat pizza. Oh, I don't know. Then maybe I'd get sick of pizza, but I wish I could eat it every day and not get sick of it because the flavor is just so damn good. And we do have some Natalie's orange juice, best orange juice out there. And yeah, so like pizza for me, now that like I don't eat bread at all, you know, before when I used to you know, track macros, which I still track macros, but I basically do flexible dieting, just fitting whatever foods that I wanted in my diet. 
but obviously it wouldn't just be all junk food. But if I wanted a sandwich, I'd have a sandwich. If I wanted like a sub from Publix, I'd get a pub sub. But yeah, hopefully like as my condition improves, I mean, with Hashimoto's, it's something that you have forever. It is what it is. You know, I'm still gonna continue doing cheat days and enjoy myself like I'm doing. I seem to be doing okay. And um, on the other days of eating, as you guys saw, if you didn't see, I did post a video of what I eat in a day, showing you guys how I avoid gluten, dairy, grains, soy, all that stuff. So this is why I'm really, really enjoying myself now. <laughs> So I'm not sure if I asked you guys before, but what's your favorite pizza? For me, double cheese, double pepperoni. It's fire. Oh. I'm really thinking about it. It's kind of a big piece. All right, we'll finish it. pizza and I have a little surprise <laughs> we have a package from Buckeye Brownies and you guys if you did see my last video with Buckeye Brownies you guys probably thought I was never gonna eat these ever again and I probably thought I was never gonna eat these ever again but they just released gluten-free brownies so I am very excited to try these because for me, well for one, I don't eat gluten on normal days of eating. You just saw me eat pizza, but this is really cool that they're coming out with gluten-free options because there's a lot of people out there that don't eat gluten. Check this out. So this is the gluten-free Funfetti. So it is a blondie base laid with gluten-free animal crackers topped with our homemade Funfetti cake cookie dough all topped with white chocolate chips and a cream cheese frosting drizzle and sprinkles. Right, let's see if it stands up to the gluten brownies. Here we go. Mm. Bro, I'm gonna taste like a sugar cookie, and I love sugar cookies. Mm. Bro, that's pretty damn good. <laughs> Yeah, so I guess what they use, it's um, sweet white rice flour, whole grain brown rice flour, potato starch, sorghum flour, tapioca flour. Mm. Oh, that is interesting. Oh yeah. Gluten free, baby. I'm not gonna eat all these brownies. No way. Half is enough. All right. And also, for you guys that do like chocolate, this one is the gluten-free MVP. The gluten-free MVP. So blondie, blondie. <laughs> Brownie base laid with gluten-free Oreo sandwich cookies, topped with our homemade cookies and cream cookie dough, all topped with another Oreo and chocolate chips. All right. Gluten-free MVP. Mmm. That's actually pretty damn good. Yeah, so this one, it, it tastes just like a Nestle's chocolate chip cookie got smashed onto a brownie, but first they sandwiched 
Oreos in the middle and then added chocolate chips. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. Mm. I dig it. I think that is gonna be it for the food today. I am pretty damn full. I am very satisfied. And oh, if you guys did want to check out Buckeye Brownies, you can use code Team Big Bites. That'll save you 10%. Link will be in the description box down below. And yeah, who knows what they're gonna come up with next for these creations because they are just crushing it. Alrighty, guys. So another cheat day in the books. So today we definitely enjoyed some really good food: donuts, pizza, brownies and that Arby's roast beef sandwich, bro, that is phenomenal. Oh, and also I did talk to Alex and Becca and they said it's the Arby's sauce. So if you go to Arby's, get that sandwich and you have to get the Arby's sauce, put it on that sandwich, bro, it's gonna blow your mind. It's seriously so damn good. And 5-0, 5-0 it's always amazing. I got my top four favorite donuts, the maple bacon, the cookie monster, the cronut, and the plant city. Cannot go wrong with those. And then pizza, cannot go wrong with pizza. Definitely get double cheese, double pepperoni. And then we did try out some of the new brownies by Buckeye, the gluten-free brownies. It's really cool that they're coming out with gluten-free stuff. I know there are a lot of people out there, myself included, who don't eat gluten. Obviously, besides on the cheat day, I wanna enjoy what I wanna enjoy, so that's why I have these cheat days. But outside of the cheat days, I don't eat any gluten whatsoever or dairy. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool they're having more options for you guys out there that are gluten-free as well. But that is gonna be today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I just said that, but okay, peace out, bye.